Hi everyone, it's Meg here and you guys know the drill. We're gonna do a thrift haul today. So I have kind of a mishmash of places that I went the past couple of weeks. Um, so I'm kind of just going to pick things up and let you know um, where I got it and around how much it was. The first thing that I have, um, we're just gonna jump in guys. <laughs> the first thing that I have is this top. It's really cute. I actually bought this for myself. Um, but it doesn't quite fit, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Um, this is from Bow Boys, Beau Bois, something like that. Um, it reminds me of an anthropology brand. It may very well be, I haven't researched it, but it's really cute, just black and white, and it's got this mesh overlay and the really pretty ruffle and three buttons, so yeah. Um, I thought it was really cute, the tag was really nice. <laughs> I'm kind of a sucker for stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's the first piece I picked up. I got that at Salvation Army and I only paid $1.99 for that. And just like the places are going to be kind of a mishmash, um, I have a lot of different kinds of things. So this is something that I don't normally pick up. This is a baby blanket. And I didn't get this for Scarlett because she has so many blankets already, um, but I got this to resell because it is Bambi. And if there's one thing that I know, it's that Disney sells. So it's in really good condition um, and it's fairly big. I mean, it's just like a baby blanket. Um, so I paid, I think a dollar for this because their linens and their blankets were on sale. Um, so I paid like a dollar for this and I think I'm going to try to sell it for around $25 to $30. Um, I have to research. The tag has been cut off so I don't know exactly what brand it came from. If anybody recognizes it, just let me know. So next, also at Salvation Army, and that was from Salvation Army also, by the way. Um, so this is from Salvation Army as well. This is, I don't know, it looks 80s to me, might be 70s, but I'm really leaning towards 80s. Um, this is a plus size, um, like, dress, and I don't run into this style with plus size very often, so I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. Um, it is actually union made, but it's international ladies garment. Um, so it was made in the U.S., but it's the International Garment Union or whatever. A lot of times you see the, just the U.S. ones, but this was international, so that's interesting. Um, it does not have a tag otherwise to say, you know, what brand or anything it was. It is a 20W. So this is what that looks like. It's really cute, off the shoulder, um, kind of scarf, same kind of scarf hem on the bottom. So I think this is really cute and I couldn't pass it up, it was only $4. Um, so somebody is just going to really love this. And like I said, you don't find this kind of thing in plus size often, so I really had to get that so that I could share it with somebody who really would love it. And so this was $4.99. I took a chance on it because I've heard of this brand before and I know they're very hit and miss. So this brand is Bob Mackie and this is a wearable art. Um, I think the size tag was cut out um, of the top here, but I should be able to measure it and get by. This is what it looks like. It is leather. I actually really like the design of it. Um, it's just this bright purple and black. And then the back of it. Now I've seen these go from anywhere from like 25 to 60. Um, sometimes a little bit more than that, but I don't think this particular style will go for that much. Um, I think I'm going to probably price it somewhere in the middle. 
Um, but for $4.99, I was willing to take the risk on that. Alright, so the next thing I got, I got at um, my favorite thrift shop yesterday. So, this is a Jacqueline Smith bag. It's got a few flaws, but overall it's really, really cute. I actually bought this thinking maybe I'll keep it for myself. Not so sure yet. Um, I'm really bad at switching out bags. <laughs> like, I'll have a favorite bag and then I just will never switch from it. The inside is beautiful though. The inside, there are no flaws at all. It looks like somebody maybe just stored it, and so that's probably some shelf wear is all. Um, well, there's a little bit of a flaw, a little bit of scratching on the inside there. But overall, decent condition. Um, I was thinking I could probably maybe get 20 bucks out of it, or like I said, I might just keep it and use it on a vacation or something. But it's just really cute print. Alright, where are we? Next, I got several pairs of jeans. Now, this is at Park Avenue Thrift. This is at Park Avenue Thrift. This is my second favorite thrift shop. Um, I, I just really end up getting quite a bit, and I almost always have a 50% coupon, <laughs> so... Um, on Mother's Day, it was no holds barred, 50% off. So that was really cool. Um, I got these jeans, which I actually didn't mean to get. These are just basic express denim. I might be able to get 20 bucks out of those. Maybe just 10 or 15, I'm not sure. I paid um, like 2 or $3 for them. So it's not a huge deal. Um... But yeah, I meant to put these back after I looked them up because I wasn't sure what this brand was. Um, X2 turned out to be Express's brand, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, I, I think they'll still sell. I'm just going to price them really low to get them gone, probably. Um, so these are $5.95. Um, these are GS115. I didn't know much about the brand. What I found was kind of hit and miss. I just really thought they were cute. <laughs> um, I love plaid. I love DIY looking things. Um, they're a cute wash. This is the front of them. <laughs> like they look freaking awesome. Um, if they were my size, I would keep them. They are not, however, they are a size 18. Um, I'm thinking that's 18 girls because I don't think this is a size 18 women's for sure. Um, I might be able to wear them. I don't know. I'll probably still sell them as women's because I see probably like, I don't know. I see women wearing these more than, um, a young girl. I don't know. I could be wrong. I would wear the, I would wear the hell out of these. So these are $5.95 and it was half off of that. So these I'm on the fence about. <laughs> um, I really kind of want to keep them for myself. Um, these were $4.94. These are True Religion uh, Swarovski. Um, nothing freaking sparkles like Swarovski. And I have come to really appreciate that. Um, I don't know, we have some Swarovski Christmas ornaments, but until you see it on like clothes or jewelry, I don't know, you just don't get it, I guess. Um, they are genuine. I looked up all the, um, this tag made me think maybe they weren't genuine because the couple of pairs that I have and the pairs that Damien has, um, I've never seen this like platinum tag before, but apparently their Swarovski and special editions have this tag. Um, it's also going to have this tag on the inside, obviously the um, true religion tag, the pockets had the right lining, these are definitely genuine and those are definitely Swarovskis. Um, so these are my size and they do fit, so I may end up keeping these. Um, if not, I will probably sell them for quite a bit. Um, these are going... 
around 200 bucks right now. I've seen some up for 50, but honestly at that price, I would probably keep them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I'll decide. I'll try them on um, again and kind of figure out where I stand on those. All right, next I got a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. Pretty basic, it was a men's shirt. This was $4.94, half off of that. This is a size XXL. And yeah, pretty basic, but still cool nonetheless. These I just thought were really awesome. The comps were kind of scattered. Again, these were $5.95 and half off of that. These are by Wrangler, and I got two pairs of these in different styles. So this was the first style. The front is pretty basic, but it does have silver stitching. Um, let's see. I think the same person owned these because there were like four pairs of this like sub-brand of Wrangler. Um, but I only got two because I just, these looked cool to me. Um, and this looks brand new because the tag is still wrapped in plastic. Like, I've, I don't think I've ever seen that. Um, it may have been a sample cell or something like that. Because there's that on the inside as well. Um, so yeah, there's pockets are kind of neat looking. These are the other ones that I got. They're kind of just really cool. And these are the brand Rock or Rocker or something like that. Um, no, Rock 47 by Wrangler. So that is those. Um, I thought those were really neat. Next, of course, I got lingerie. This is 920 or not 292. Um, but it was half off of that, obviously. Um, it's got a little fuzzy right here, but I can cut that right off. So this is like a burgundy velvet teddy thing. Looks like it's in great condition, so I'm happy about that. Like I said, $2.92, half off of that. Um, this is a like light corset top. I had never heard of this brand before. I have not looked it up yet, um, but it's Lily Rubin. It says made in Korea. Um, but it's just your basic corset top. Looks like it might have had like those, um, not straps, but those like little hook things that go on the hanger that somebody cut out, which is fine. Like nobody likes those. <laughs> um, but there's that. I got this um, Mickey Mouse child's dress. I think it's a child's dress. $4.94. Um, yeah, it's a size large, so it's definitely a kid's. Um, but it's got like little subtle Mickey print on it, which I thought was really cool. Um, very cool for summer. Somebody's gonna love that. $4.94, half off. This I got for myself, but I haven't tried on yet, so whether I keep it or not remains to be seen. Um, but this was a really cute... It's from Miari brand, which I'd never heard of before. <clears throat> but it's got this mesh sleeve detail. Um, that's the brand right there. Um, and it was $7.97, obviously half off. So I just thought it was really pretty. If the comps are high on this, I'll probably go ahead and sell it. Um, but I've never really seen anything like this. And then it has a matching scarf that went with it. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I liked the tassels on it, you know? Sometimes it's the little things. Found these awesome Jelly Pop shoes for resale. As much as I want to keep them, I am going to sell them. Um, this is the style Durban, um, and they are 10, so yeah, I wouldn't be able to keep them if I wanted to. But they look brand new. 
So these look vintage, um, I don't know, would these be 90s or 2000s, guys? Let me know down below. I'm thinking early 2000s, like Y2K era. But it's the cute, like, chunky heel type thing. More shoes. I've got Barefoot Originals. And it looks like when they were in the bag, they got scuffed a little bit, so that kind of sucks. But these were $9.49, half off. And it looks like they're marked on the back 14, so I don't know if that's the size. No, they're eight and a halfs. But I thought they were really cool vintage looking shoes. Like I've never seen anything that style. So $9.49 and half off that. More jeans. I couldn't resist these guys. I don't know why. These were at 9.45, I think it says. I can never read what they write. But these are Rockin' Republic. Um, just like gold, just gold jeans. Gold wash, like, I don't know. I couldn't resist them. They look like black jeans with a gold wash on them. So those are interesting. These I kind of got to try for myself. I have yet to try them on. They were $2.92. There's no brand in them. They're just like those high-waisted slouchy pants. You know what I mean? And I kind of really want to try them with like a crop top or something. So those are mine. <laughs> Maybe, at least. This was mine as well. <laughs> this is $4.94 and it was half off of that. Um, again, all the stuff that I say I'm keeping... I might not keep forever like I tend to keep something for a while and then sell it or I'll say I'm keeping it try it on and just not like it as much as I thought I was going to and none of this stuff I've tried on yet so um this is $4.94 and this is from the brand Iris brand doesn't matter honestly like for me it's all about the lace up and these freaking sleeves these sleeves <laughs> are the coolest thing to me and I've been wanting a dress with those sleeves or a shirt or something with that kind of sleeve and I haven't found anything that just spoke to me but then I found that and I was so excited. All right, and then the last couple things from that store I have this dress from Nikki Valentine. And again, the comps for this are all over the place. Probably not going to be that. Um, I'm not going to price it that high. Maybe $25 or $30. But it's just a really cute, like, retro-looking dress. And it's got these cute little details everywhere, like these bows on the sleeves. Very cute. And then the last thing from that place is Paul Green sandals. I had never heard of these, but they looked cute. Like, they look handmade, and they are handmade. So that's the thing with these. Um, it does say handmade on the bottom. It says size three and a half, so I guess their sizing is different. I'm going to have to look that up and see what that means. Um, but they were in really good condition. The flowers are leather. It doesn't look like they've been worn. Um, these were March four ninety four, and these were again half off. So I think I just have what one more thing. Yeah, one more thing, and that is this pair of yellow pants, new with tag, from Lily Pulitzer. And I think they are. I think they're khaki, or not khakis, I think they're um, capris. So you can see they were originally $148 and I got them for $8.99. I've never sold Lily Pulitzer before, so this is kind of an experiment. Um, but I thought new with tag, you probably can't go wrong with that. I'm sure I'll make more than $9 from them. So yeah. 
um, let me know down below if you guys found any really cool things. Um, and I think that's going to be it for today's video. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Okay, so I know I said that was it guys, but I have a few more things that I just picked up today that I forgot about. These are some sunglasses. They are by Beverly Hills Polo and, um, they are reselling for around $20. I just picked them up because they were super cute, um, but yeah, Beverly Hills Polo Aviators. Um, also, I picked something up for myself. This is American Gigolo um, vinyl, and the vinyl is like new, so it's just got some shelf wear, but the vinyl itself is like new, and this was 10 cents today. All their music and books were 10 cents today. This is all I found though as far as that goes. For myself at least. Um, so this, I spent $10 today. So this is like a golf shirt or tennis shirt. I guess it's probably more tennis, but this brand makes golf and tennis type items. Um, so I just thought it was really cute. Um, the back is super adorable like that and it's padded so that you don't have to wear a bra it's like a sports bra type thing um but it's by this brand which I was not aware of but apparently they do make a lot of golf and um tennis type things and they sell for around 30 to 20 to 30 dollars used so that was really cool these I got not knowing the brand didn't look them up they just look like vintage swimming trunks, like 50s style. Don't think they are, judging by the tag. It's Millibon USA. I've never heard of that. But um, yeah, it feels like swimsuit material though. So that's what's got me like, it's either swimsuit material or like silk or something. But I thought they were really cute for like a pinup style. I got another one of these bags. I already have one of these in my shop that I found at an estate sale. This one is brand new with the tag on it. Um, so I think that's going to help it do better. I have the one in my shop marked for 20. Um, but I think I'm probably going to, how much did I pay? I paid 99 cents for this one. So I'm probably going to mark the other one down to 15 and also put this one up at 15 as well. Scarlet, it might be a little bit big. Um, it's a size three, but she's kind of tall, so it might work. Just thought it was super cute. Um, it looks like it needs to be washed, so I'll throw that in the wash, but um, it's just really adorable. It ties in the back. Super cute. And then these two things I got as an experiment of sorts. Um, so I love the aesthetic of like things like this together. So I'm gonna try to sell them as a set, um, like an aesthetic set and see what happens. Um, I just thought this was really cute with the dried flowers. It's very vintage. Um, you can stand it up. But this was 99 cents and this was 10 cents um, because it's a music thing. But um, yeah, there we go.